My name is Levi Hargrove. I'm the scientific chair of the Regenstein Center for Bionic Medicine at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. Yeah, so, so amputation is a, is a life-altering um, event. Uh, there's a clear, impressing need to, to do better, to restore better mobility options for these individuals. Many people don't realize that prosthetics is millennia old, so passive devices existed back in antiquity. What we think of a modern prosthetic limb, it, it dates back to the early 1900s or late 1800s. The first um, seeds of the bionic limbs, if you will, started in around the 1940s and 50s, but they were confined to laboratory settings, required huge equipment. At the Center for Bionic Medicine, we've been working with individuals with limb loss or limb difference for, for many years. We started our work with uh, individuals with upper limb amputation. Uh, and when we've had great success. Individuals with lower limb amputation uh, outnumber those with, with uh, upper limb amputation by a factor of 10. So there's a huge opportunity to provide advancements and restorability for a large population. In the field, um, people recognize how challenging and difficult it is for individuals who have had two legs amputated or a bilateral amputee. Uh, simply standing up out of a chair, very difficult for individuals to do. Many are confined to wheelchairs. So we've been working towards this objective for around 15 years now. This was the, the first um, bionic leg that we performed research on. It has a socket attached to it. So this is the interface between the person's limb and the actual device. It's kind of form fit to their specific um, leg. We have sensors inside of it. So little pieces of, of metal that are positioned over where the user's muscles are. And these little sensors, they're, they're like antennas that we can use to measure their, their muscle contractions. So your muscles generate a little bit of electricity when you contract them. So we can sense them with these sensors and then relay that information down to a leg. In these two devices, um, this is a motorized ankle, knee as well. Um, these two are twins. Um, we actually call them Mario and Luigi because we're geeks um, and we're proud of it. And then this is the newest iteration of, of the device. There are still wires hanging off the ankle, but you can see the knee is starting to look more like what you might expect a product to look like. So if self-contained, it's protected, very light, it's around five pounds lighter. So we're getting pretty close on the knee. The next step is to protect the ankle to make this a self-contained product that we can send people home with to do home trials in their home environment to see if we've missed anything or how well it works. So the first individual that we had applied this technology to, um, he was here to, to be um, fit with commercially available legs. Uh, we asked him if he'd be willing to participate in research and, and he agreed. Um, once we were able to put the legs on, um, we kind of started to let him know what he should expect and how this may behave differently than the legs that he had been working on with the ther therapist here in, in the building. He says, okay, let's give it a try. And so we, we allow him to do a sit-to-stand transition, I can immediately tell as a researcher that the legs are assisting him and pushing him up, and then he's able to have this um, aha moment or his eyes light up. And it's, it's a great rewarding feeling to see that, and the, the team kind of looks at each other and says, hey, we're on to something. Oh, you look fantastic. Good job. So if you have two legs, you could control them independently, meaning the information in the the left leg only has sensors from the left leg to control. The right leg only has information about the right leg to control. That's not how we control our body. Our brain integrates information from left leg and right leg at the same time, and then we're able to communicate in this natural way um, through our nerves and muscles to, to command our legs to walk how we want to. And so what we thought is, well, we're, we're now at the place where we can have these two legs communicate to each other um, and respond to the user at the same time, which, which is no, no easy task. So what we do is we, we have a wire um, at this point, and so we will connect the legs together so that they can communicate with each other. The left leg has information about the right leg, the right leg has information about the left leg. The user can feel both legs at the same time and then send the commands to both legs at the same time. So we have left leg talking to right leg, both legs talking to the user, the user talking to both legs through their EMG signals or their hip interactions or other methods. By using bionic limbs with, with motors in them, we can provide the energy to push them along 
and we can use control techniques to safely guide their steps, um, restore different activities. An analogy that, that I use sometimes is kind of like a, a self-driving car, right? And can you imagine in the future, if there was a self-driving car, how easy it might be to, to get around? So right now we're at the point where we're trying to develop these intuitive control systems, like the, the driving system of a car that allows a person to walk in an easy, intuitive, seamless manner. What you don't realize are that how, how limited the commercial options are in many situations. And so if someone has never stood up before and they have a leg that responds intuitively and seamlessly to their, their commands, they're like, yeah, that, yeah, this is how it should work. In the near future, we intend to um, expand the capabilities of these devices and restore even more ability to this user and others by allowing uh, stair climbing and stepping on curves, uh, pivots, cuts, turns, walking up and down slopes and uneven terrains. So these are all on our um, development plan and we hope to test it in, in the near future. So it'll take a, a lot of work, but our team is definitely up, up to the task and we hope to have some tremendous improvements to, to show even more advances in the future.